you're watching Lounge Academy. Actually, nobody's watching yet. We just, we just kicked her on, and uh, we're on the air, and Maxine Lamar is the first one to tune in, followed by Dave Pettigrew. Imagine uh, a lot of people are going to be home tonight, right? Just sitting in the way we are. Staying in the way we are. That was my line. She's reading my line off the teleprompter. And she, being Mary Quinn's Goldman, my co-host, we're, we're waiting for the arrival of... This is a very cozy edition of Lounge Academy tonight with the storm raging outside. It is. It's it, is. it is. It's great. It's around. Cold is blowing around. I was out there. This is the winter storm, <laughs> the winter edition. storm edition. Yeah. yeah which you could start with, a, with something wintry. Start off the evening. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. You don't. You don't want to just no, like bore, bore, bore people with our conversation <laughs> for a while. Hi, Maxine. Nice to see you. Now you you don't have this view out your window tonight, Maxine. Down, you're in warm Warmsville. Here it's. Uh, it's like a it's snow cold. globe. That's the thing tonight. The wind is it's, it's windy and it's cold. <laughs> there's a lot of it's all white outside and there's wind blowing and it's really cold and there's snow drifts and there's ice on the windows. I should let me see if I could get a camera that shows the window. Let's see. I think that the, the so shoulder you dedicate one of the four cameras to the window. <laughs> there's you can see yeah, you can see the window uh, to my right. Let's see if I can adjust the camera without cutting Mary out of the shot. Sorry. Let's see. There we go. Now, now we've got Mary and the window in the same shot, <laughs> and it's just uh, it's really fun looking out at a real winter scene through these old windows. It, it was, which has seen many winters, as you pointed out. And it's so quiet and still in this old house downtown. We're, we're, at, the, we're at the epicenter of Western New York and Buffalo. Here by Niagara Square. And the last remaining old house from the early, 18, early to mid 1800s where we have the set of WBIG TV's Lounge Academy. You're looking at my good side. Let me see if I could get, pull this thing up here. So I can see your comments and requests. We can discuss the weather and parking. Here, here we are. I'm going to tune in right on my tablet on my. I can hear me. Comments. Yeah, Burr. Hi, Tina. Tina's out there. Hi, Tina. Tina's, there. Hi, Tina. Tina's right up the street in the old right. schoolhouse. Really cool. Here on Delaware Avenue. Melissa Grace is. I hope you're taking care of yourself, Melissa. Sorry you have your little, uh, your little uh, sports injury. And I'm glad uh, Jack was mowing the uh, driveway today. That's, I love it. That's the way we are around here. It's nice that Melissa Grace can be with us virtually. Karen Clagger is here. Electra's daughter in law. Oh, right? Chris Martocci's out there. He's the rascal that sold me this place. <laughs> how, how you doing, Chris? Well, I'm going to give you the corner camera now. 
There we go. I'll show you all the cameras in case you're new. This is a corner cam. That's a shoulder cam. You saw that. And <laughs> when the lounge cadets are here, we'll see if they, we never know. You know, even though there's a storm and we're just assuming that it's going to be just us here tonight, to tell you the truth, each week when we get here, except last week, we, we kind of hit the ground running. They, the people showed up before we started. But um, normally we're sitting here wondering, like, what do the producers have in store for us? Because they keep the, the <laughs> plot and the, the guest list a secret <laughs> know, from us. Right. And uh, we're always wondering if, you know, if anybody's going to come or if there's going to be like an all-star show business group of people here. And often that's what happens. So, often, but then we get a night like tonight where we get the snowstorm. And yeah. Not sure. My brother George is supposed to be here. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't seen Louie. Louie was here last week. That's all right. Louie, any bad. Yeah. They're asking. We know they they there are lounge cadets out there. I didn't know the storm was even coming. Did yeah, anybody? It was kind of a late breaking thing. They talked about it this. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh, there is somebody. Hang on, Maybe everybody. Let's see who this is. They're trying to break in. <laughs> People get desperate to get in the lounge academy. Oh, it's Ryan. Ryan's here. The president of the lounge academy made it here in the storm. I saw that would have been here a long time ago. No, it's rotten outside. It's nice of you to. To, uh, outside of my house. Look who's here, everybody. <laughs> it's not snowing outside of my really, house. Really, it's not. Maybe no. it's not outside of mine. Oh, Ryan didn't, didn't even, did not know there was a storm <laughs> at his house. And then I got on the one night. There was not one. Oh. And all of a sudden, oh, so glad to I see couldn't you. see. Oh, wow. gosh. Gaia says, hi, Mary. Hi, Gaia. She, she has a mic. Al Wallach says you need a mic. Okay, I'll talk into the mic like this. How, how's that, Al Wallach? Oh, Al Wallach is listening. Hi, Al. See, he's a professional broad. You can't fool That's him. That's right, I should hold the mic like He's in the Hall of Fame. Now I see why so many singers, jazz singers, appear to be eating the mic. <laughs> right up to it, like that. Yeah. It's not the pale moon that excites me. The nearness of you. I do sound better eating the mic. <laughs> Look at that, folks. She's really uh, wild tonight. <laughs> it's, not. it's not the pale moon the that excites Mary.
Good job, range. Mary. Sure enough, it does a very tight range. They love it. You're a big hit out there. She not only sketches, she sings. Sang it loud academy, but it's easy to sing when there's nobody here. Yeah, this is a historic. Yeah, she never you never sang at Lounge Academy? I don't think. On Lounge I don't think Academy? I, have. I can't remember you ever doing that. I don't know. George used to encourage Back me at to the sing. house. But George picked out some very hard songs for me, like Jerry Herman's You Won't I Won't Send Roses. That's a really hard song to sing. You should do that song, Howard, though. You'd be really good at it. I won't send roses. I won't send roses. Speaking of sending roses, you know, now's the time to start thinking about Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're going to be coming up with a little Valentine's package, right? Here we are. We're, we're talking the about it. of coffee and donuts. What's a very romantic package containing two. I should mention those last because that's the highlight. See what they think. We're, we're tossing this idea around this morning. I see that. I see on the shoulder. Yeah, she has a mic. She's using it. It's an SM58. Yeah, I'm talking right into it. But, but it's, not, it's not mic directly, and it goes through the PA. And then this mic on the piano picks that up. So we're kind of doing it that way, which works, as long as she talks loud. I won't bring you roses. I won't send roses. I won't send roses. I'll tell you what, if you don't send roses, you're going to be in trouble. All the married guys know that. Don't let that song fool you. I won't send roses. It goes way up. That's a beautiful song. It's a great song. See if you can find it there. It's in here, I know. Is it? It's It's from Mac and Mabel. If it's in there, then it's in there. Because that's the same book, the big one. Oh, this one? Yeah. This is the Broadway book. Oh. Oh no, this is the real book. I'm sorry. It's in oh, the Broadway. Oh, you want the Broadway? That's. It's in the that's show. The one that's, Mabel. that's the one that's like microfiche. Oh. It's all right though. We have a can-do attitude around here. I heard that at the Philharmonic was. was I thought it was, sounded really good. And when they did that Jerry Herman tribute. song we were fooling around with before the show. Oh, I, I got into the Jerry Herman section here. Oh, yeah, what song? Oh, I got my love to keep me warm. We were fooling around with. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a good song for a storm. I never, all these songs you never heard of, I never heard of Meredith Wilson's Pine Cones and Holly Berries. Some Christmas song. I bet Elle Walk never even heard that one. Pine Cones and Holly Berries. By Meredith Wilson. Let me see if I can find that. Irving Berlin, he wrote this about Buffalo. His bride is buried at Forest Lawn. Very sad. something yeah a couple they just got married got and, and she got sick oh, and, and is buried in forest it's so sad and, and this song I, when you listen to the words of the song you just know that that's what it was written about i think we should leave flowers on our grave sometimes on behalf of um, being, Irving yeah. Berlin on behalf of ryan lysar <laughs> put a big sign on the flowers that says <laughs> Yeah, no, Lounge yeah. Academy on behalf That'd of be Irving nice. Berlin. <laughs> For benefit of Irving Berlin. <laughs> yeah, we should have a big sign though, right? The snow is snowing. <laughs> the wind is blowing. I can weather the storm. What do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love to keep me warm. I can't remember a worse 
first December Just watch those icicles fall What do I care How icicles form I've got my love to keep me warm Off with my overcoat Off with my glove I need no overcoat I'm burning with love The flame grows higher I will weather the storm What do I care How much it may storm I've got my love To keep me warm Irving Berlin, a very Buffalo influenced song. Thank you, Ryan Lysars. I never realized he wrote that. I never really loved it before. It's a beautiful song. Yeah. It's from the 20th Century Fox motion picture on the Avenue. Oh. Maybe it was about Delaware that. Avenue. Watch on the Avenue. This is the Avenue, oh, yeah. right? In Buffalo. Does that also have the East of Parade? No, that's from Easter Parade. That's right. I was just thinking on the Avenue. 1936. <laughs> Did you have a song there? Yes, there is. I want some roses. This, this is, uh, somebody send glasses, because uh, <laughs> we not be sending roses. Look at this thing. It's, it's in uh, microfiche. <laughs> it's so small. When I bought this book, I could read it. That's a sad thing. these letters are. I won't send roses or hold the door. Stay awake, kid. Jerry Herman is still in London. He should 
I won't send roses and roses so Jerry Herman, words and music. Well, great request, Mary. I went to the, the Philharmonic tribute to Jerry Herman, and Jerry Herman addressed us on video. <laughs> he couldn't be bothered to show up. In really? Person. Is that is that her name, Melissa Dorothy? Was was uh, Irving Berlin's wife? Yeah, the first. Oh. Was or was that the second one? There was Dorothy Getz. Was the first one? I don't know. There were two wives. Because Melissa Grace says that Dorothy is one of the ghosts you'll meet. Oh. Okay. At the Forest Lawn Haunted Trolley Ride. Oh, they have Dorothy. Someone playing Dorothy. <laughs> Here's one of the ghosts. Oh, gee. Yeah, it's so sad, though. Oh, ask, ask Missy who the second wife was. Who was, who was his second wife? Because he was married to Melissa. her for the rest of his life. He got married not soon long after that. And then he, got, he was married forever after that. Yeah, he was a real yeah, steadfast gentleman. Stay true to both his wives. What other great songs have to do with Forest Lawn? That's right. Yeah, what other songs? Like Super Freak by Rick James. That's right. We'll Super do Freak, yeah. Academy tour of Forest Lawn. Ryan's going to do Super Freak. His <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Ari Silverstein oh, isn't man. here. He could do it. I'm sure I've heard him do it. I heard him do it on Chippewa once on the corner of Chippewa and Pearl. <laughs> he, went, he launched into Super Freak. It was, it was a very good rendition. Yeah, maybe you'll see some in here. <laughs> we'll pick out some. Songs that have to do with Forest Lawn. How's the weather out where you guys are? You know, here on uh, by Niagara Square, there's uh, white stuff going sideways by the window. Small flakes, but it's. This isn't as bad as it was. Various points in between. It's not un unnavigable, is it? That was no, I think the eye of the storm is further north of here. I see. And south of my house. Somewhere in between. There's an eye to this storm? There is an eye, and you, it's a whiteout. You can't I didn't see know there it. was an eye in storm. So this must be the eye of the storm. Or else oh, no, we're outside. Or on the outside of it, okay. Maybe is the eye, I thought the eye is like the calm place. Oh, oh. Like in a hurricane. That's what I thought. Yeah, the eye is a hurricane. In this type of storm, maybe, yes, it's, yes. maybe it's the most turbulent. Maybe I'm in the eye of the storm at my house. Yeah, there's maybe there's no the snow there. Wow. Good thing you got out of there. Or no, because it's snowing south. Maybe this is the eye. Kind of blow over one way or the other. Yeah, maybe this is right. Ellen Mac McKay. Ellen Mackay. E L L I N M A C K M A C K A Y. Oh yeah. Was Irving Berlin's second wife. Oh Ellen. According oh, to okay. I never want to come up with that. Okay. I knew that. According to our music research musicologist, Thank you, Melissa, Melissa Grace. Grace. Thank you. Ellen. Here's one for all the writers. So many writers here. If they asked me, I could write a book about the way you walk, then whisper. I could write the preface <laughs> on how we met that the world would never forget and the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you a lot and the world discovers when 
When my book ends, how to make two lovers a friends. Another one of those songs about making lovers of friends. About Which, friends becoming lovers. I don't know if it happens very often in real life. It's a dangerous thing. There's still songs about it. See, my theory about friends becoming lovers has always been that a fraud has been Yeah, perpetrated. someone had something else in mind. <laughs> right. Or else the friendship would not have been there. <laughs> right, Melissa? Right, Al? One of the parties to the friendship <laughs> One of the was parties. a sex pervert. The whole time. What if they and that's all they were thinking about. And they were playing along with this friendship <laughs> BS. What if they both were? But neither one of them would admit it. I mean, that's a very interesting point that Ryan's making. Like, what if they were both had designs and they each thought the other one wanted to be friends and they were both perpetrating a fraud? I don't know. I... I think it would be given away with subtle signals. Yeah. And things would things would melt down very quickly. But that's my theory. I don't know. I mean if if you had some people that were just haven't been around the block of too many times, they they might not pick up on those social cues. And then there's the reverse of the song, just friends, lovers, no more. <laughs> you could do a whole medley. And then there's the classic, how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? Yes, <laughs> 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 okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that area has been, hiya Chris, it's Chris McMillan, oh. Ryan's childhood pal. Nice to see you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Great having you with us, along with Betty. She says, hello, cadets. Hi, Betty. Hello, cadet Pat, to you, Betty. cadetting tonight. He's, he's lounge cadetting from home. He has a cold. Well, it's great to have you there, Melissa. You're such a great audience and a great cadet. And a great resource. And a great resource. They say I'll move a mountain. Oh. 
cross me. Sure, I'm crazy. Crazy in my Carl Stigman and Bob Russell. What else did they write? Those aren't names that are like household yeah. lounge words. I bet they wrote something really famous and we just don't know it. They must, you know, you can't just write one great song. You can't accidentally write something that's crafted that well. So I'm sure there's many others. Maybe oh. Melissa Grace is looking it up right now. <laughs> She's great. Bob sang, Bob Coster sang, snow and wind chills make me staying home and watching Lounge Academy the preferred evening activity. Nice Bob Coster. It's great having you with us. Oh, Mary Grace, uh, Melissa Grace, we we're talking about Crazy He Calls Me, a song written by Carl Sigman, S-I-G-M-A-N, and lyric by Bob Russell, R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -L. And, and those names aren't really familiar. You know, it's a great song. They must have wrote other great songs if they wrote that one. What's the deal? I'm biding my time That's the kind of guy I'm While other folks grow dizzy I'm keeping busy Biding my time at Lounge Academy Next year Something's bound to happen, that's for sure. This year, this year, I'll just keep on napping. I'm biding my time. That's the kind of guy I'm. No regretting when I'm setting. I'm biding my time. Crazy. Who out there is girl crazy, ladies and gentlemen? All you single guys or girls, right? We got a big audience. Big modern audience. We sure do. We do. You know, most of the people in the lounge cadet roster here and out there in TV land. Many, many of them are show business names themselves. Yeah, half of them. At, at least, least half. At least half. I think you're right. Orders. At least half. And the rest have that artistic sensitivity. Where does that leave me? Well, you're you're all encompassing. That's how you got to be president. For crying out loud.
let's see, uh, Scott, Scott McCausland's out there. Nice to see you, Scott. Say hi Scott. to Ellen. Babalu, Babalu, ballerina. Maybe they maybe they wrote like other genres primarily that we're not. Maybe those were show tunes that we're not familiar with. I just saw. I mean, Babalu. I think of uh, Ricky Ricardo. Who wants to sing Babalu? Oh, Babalu. Somebody's. Uh, I, if that was I think. I think show business. And I just saw someone close. Name. Uh, George Kunz is heading. You know, I got. He has a song we play him in with. Oh, yeah. Show business people all have a song. Let, let him in, uh, somebody, Ryan or or Mary. His song is. It's a Kunz. It's for the whole Kunz clan. It's called Talk of the Town. That's George Kunz, ladies. And gentlemen. Talk of the town. Everybody's talking. They can't believe their eyes. George Cook is here tonight. Ready, George? He's the talk of the town. George Coons is the talk of the town off by the fireplace, he's taking his Wonder Bread bags out. <laughs> well, things are getting interesting now. We got some big names here. George knows so many great songs. He's got a new goatee. Looks <laughs> really good. So, wow. You this got is, television? You got the TV? Yeah. This is George Kunz 2019, everybody. How about a big round of applause out there for George Kunz? Welcome. We've been trying to get him on the Lounge Academy set for a lot of seasons. Long time, yeah. I might, I might play tonight. Yeah, of course. But... Well, we'd love to get you to do that. Maybe George is in by the mic. There's a mic right there. Mary's got it. Yeah. We'll have a boom room. Every day is a holiday. Anna Connor, you're married to me. Not white. A ballroom. technical things. What do you got? You got some songs, Ryan? I found Ballerina by Sigmund and well, Russell. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm familiar with that one, Ryan. Well, you I don't mean, have I, to play it, but you can I can look at it. Put it in the to-do list. To list. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was confused because how long have you found it? I found pages in that book that go to this. Oh, I'm glad you got that straightened out. Ryan, old fashioned. He digs the old stuff. Ryan loves the old fashioned things. The sound of rain upon his window pane. side mirror off a car with the end of my blade yeah. and not touch the rest of the car. <laughs> you got a little poof. There goes, nice. there goes, there goes that left hand that, that left hand mirror. Nice. Well, you want Very impressive. Yeah. If you're a 12 hour do this up, yeah. you do some weird shit. Yeah, right, right, right. But be that as it may. Sounds so great. Good to see you, Bo. How are you? Great to see you, Tom. Nice to have you with uh, us so, tonight. So that's here. Might I borrow a glass? Oh, no. Let it be Tuesday for a glass today. <laughs>
this heart of mine. Oh, yeah. oh, we're just flipping through here. Picking out yeah. songs that we haven't heard in a long time. I think it was in the ship tone. Tell George the story of when you brought the Paisano to the wine tasting. This is great. Anyways, uh, long story short, this guy that worked for me, he was like a wine bullshit kind of He dances overhead. On my seat. Near my bed. Music begins. Power and I. 
When you're in my arms, oh God, no, it's not that I'm ready to do that. Sun Valley Serenade, 1941 is the other one. I got a 50 50 chance that this song was from that movie. Hey, did you get the. Uh, uh, I sent you a, a thing about the postmodern jukebox. Oh, with Gunhill. I did, yeah. Gun, Gunhill, Carlin. They're, they're, well, anyway, I, I yeah, they're great, aren't they? They're playing at uh, uh, the, the, the uh, Riviera. Yeah. But they, they're on the 20, 1920s tour. And they're just, well, I thought you'd like it. It's, it's kind of the extension of the Great American Songbook. Right. Going south. You know, yeah. To the 20s. To the Roy 20s, that honky tonk. They do the new songs to the old style. Yes. 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 They're, well, anyways, uh, I, that's why I sent you that little. Maybe you and Mary would like to go. But be that as it may. Maybe we would. Uh, 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 but the Riviera is a fantastic uh, venue, and they're, they're a great act. They're big. They're big YouTube sensations. Postmodern jukebox. Good question. 
question. Anyways, family stuff which I'm softening. My sister finds it like a song dance. Lounge sensation. Guy Boeri. David Parker's smiling out there. It's what we love. We love people smiling in a blizzard. David Parker's smile. Smile. George knows the words to this one. Beautiful song written by Charlie Chaplin. Written by Charlie Chaplin? Really? This song right here? Yeah, smile. But he didn't write a bridge. There's no bridge to that song. There and help me finish up the song. Yeah, yeah, you can help me finish the song. Smile. Like you're at Lounge Academy. Smile. Though your heart is breaking. Tonight. Yeah, are you yeah, still yeah, in yeah. Vegas? Howard, would you like some? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm working on this class, and yeah, okay. I'll uh, yeah. take you up on that in a little while. Yeah, when you're ready, Watch just the trailer. Uh, what I saw was Paisano. 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 Yeah. Just a couple picture, right? Where'd you get that? It's just days. Days of wine and roses. Laugh and run away. Like a child at way. Through the metal land. Oh, the door. A door marked nevermore. That wasn't there. Snowy Buffalo Night. We've got 
record viewership. We, we're holding steady at 10, 11, 12 people out there. Come up. Hope our servers don't crash. Come up now. I thank all of you out there for helping this be a special school night. We're broadcasting live from right by City Hall and New Era Camp in the Stadler. You know, I used to drive class from the heart of downtown's Buffalo's core business and lounge district. I loved I did it too with It was the Here's one nobody ever requests. You cannot imagine getting that big truck. George, you know this song, though, right? When the deep Here's a question I've always wondered. Purple falls. Can the cloud get stuck? Over yes. sleepy. And in fact, I did. And the stars begin to flicker. In the sky. Big white tentacular salter. They had to come and dig me up. In the midst of a memory you wandered back to me back to me yes. Tom knows this one breathing my name with a sigh everybody in the still of the night once again Somebody singing the melody. In the heart of my heart will beat. Lovers will always be here in my deeds. Hoyful dreams. Yes. It has a real World War II sound. Purple falls over hanging garden walls. In the Still of the Night by Boys to Men. George Steinbrenner. In the midst of the memory, your Tom wanders back to me. And I'm still breathing my name with a Nice job, Tom. Very funny. Very, very perfectly well done. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Is it still, is it still snowing and blowing out there? Is it there. snowing out?
I know you've been. I have missed you. We've missed you. I, well, I've missed you. Yeah, uh, lately, I, just, I find myself out gazing. I think he's still alive. That he star. Is. Yes. Yeah. Here in guitar. <laughs> like someone in love. The things I do astound me. Mostly whenever you're around me. Lately, I seem to walk as though I have wings. Bumping into things like someone in love. Each time I look at you, I'm with as a glove. And feel it like someone in love. As though I've got wings, I'm bumping into things like someone in love. Each time I look at you, I'm limp as a glove, feeling like someone. I'm feeling, George, I'm feeling like someone in love. Lounge Academy. I always think of Marion McCartney when I hear that song. She used to do that one a lot. Or at least I key into it when she did. I always wanted to learn it and then partner it This year I had a good reason to learn it and I did. More or less. Yeah. I don't I remember we I don't know who you did. Me too. I have no idea what they did. But I did it because I You're watching Lounge Academy. Oh, let me put the uh, split screen on for you. This gives you the eyes of ten people. You can look around, see what's going on. And somebody just gave me a thumbs up. I think that it was it was one of the fingers. I think it was a thumb. My birthday was last. I can't give you anything but love. Baby, that's the only thing I have plenty of. My baby, dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness and a guess. All those things you've always fine for cheap. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. To see you looking swell, baby, baby. Diamond bracelets, Walmart doesn't sell. Cause I checked, baby. Well, that lucky night, you know well. Well, well, baby. I can't give you anything but love. I can plow your driveway. You're not really a magician, but 
Expanded the uh, vocal area. Oh, well, thank you, Tom. No, 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 my sweet embrace will you embrace me this isn't the song George was that big hero with that one time it was <laughs> yeah, amazing was he was with Mo on Moonlight Saturday Moon, the Moulin Rouge yeah. Yeah. what was that song you just saved the day George yeah and, and Uncle Joe and Amber yeah that was uh, uh, sentimental no not sentimental no, uh, it wasn't this one I thought it might be. Embrace me. My sweet embrace of you. Moonlight Serenade. Moonlight Serenade. He played. Yeah, remember when he played. Embrace me. My irreplaceable you. Oh, I couldn't believe this. They were great and they were dancing. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Just one look at you. My heart grew tipsy. Bring out the gypsy in me. I will walk the many charms about me. Just being, it was just the, the timing in and of it by land. Above all, I want my Papa, come to Papa do my sweet embrace to boo you.
like a lovely tune. George, do you have a, do you have one of those dreams that like kind of follows you almost yeah, year after year? year? You'll love this story because I don't I don't know that dream. I know you love both. You don't dream? No. George doesn't dream. I think he's lying. Because George is a dreamer. He's dreaming even when he's awake. That's how those creative people are. They did the what they call that. One of the most 
I had the craziest dream. On the parkway and they last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. There you were in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine. So I kissed you. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you can then please say you would say you do baby say it and make my make my crazy dreams come true
Thank you, everybody. What a great group we have here tonight. I can see the top of Mary, look at that group. chair so I can see George's face. Have, does any kind of yeah. make sure his eyes are open? Yeah, George has to be easily solved. Yeah, how about this way or that way? No, guy. that chair. Oh, the empty here. chair. The empty. No, just move oh, the empty here. chair. Yeah, just stay where you were. Oh, you were we'll fine. There's we'll an empty chair like there. there. George is oh, relaxing and over there. And we'll, I want to see the man enjoying himself. Doesn't he look so relaxed? A refined. He looks very relaxed. You know, you need a cigar, dude. Let's smell my wine. Get out of town before it's too late, my love. Get out of town. Be good to me, please. Why wish me harm? Why not retire to a farm? And it's a charm. The birds off the tree. Sorry, I'm driving. Just disappear. I, I care for you much too much. When you are near, close to me, dear, we touch too much. The thrill when we meet is still bittersweet. Darling, it's getting me down. On your mark, it's set. Get the hell out of town.
Jones and me. Have you met Miss Jones? Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to me. Understand, I'm a man who must, I must be free. And all at once I lost my breath, all at once was scared to death. I own the earth and I own the sky. Now I've met Miss Jones, and we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I. That one's called Have You Met Miss Jones? Miss Jones and I. The lyric is Have You Met. Well, it's really awesome looking out at that frosty window. I think you can see it from, you can see my, my window there looking out on the avenue. And it's so. Uh, it has a clear view of the of the booth, and the booth is out there, just happy and frozen. It's a great booth. It laughs at any weather we've thrown at it so far. That's the booth where we hold Donut Tuesdays every Tuesday. You can find out more information at DonutTuesday.com. It's all about the City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts. Western New York's only large donut. Office hours are two hours a week, every Tuesday, 11.30 to 1.30. So many songs that you know it's hard to it's hard to know which ones like not to do because he was too good to me. How can I get along now? So close she stood to me. Everything seems all wrong now. She would have brought me the sun, making me smile. That was her fun. When I was mean to her. She never say, go away now. I was a king to her. Who's gonna make me gay now? It's only natural. Not 
see things too clear, too much in love to hear, all going in one ear and out the other. That's from the Pajama Games, 1954. Richard Alder and Jerry Ross. Some other guys that I'm not too familiar with other songs they've done, at least not knowingly. Here's a song that George Kunzman made famous. Michelle McGrath. Marilyn Bergman. I think Handsome Dan is Handsome Dan is coming up here, Lounge Cadets. Right, look Handsome Dan in, would you please? Handsome Dan, I believe, is in the vestibule. Hang on, the president's on his way, Dan. He's probably driving a little Uber tonight, and I'll bet it's a good night for him. Always profit on chaos. It's handsome day. He's the man. And the guy is out there watching handsome day. He's in the snow. He's got his car. He's doing Uber. Look at this, it looks like a pretty good storm out here still. It's a beautiful night. It's a great day to be around the fire and a piano and a handsome day. You made 10 bucks? I like the weather. I like weather on Thursday. I want it to be intense. I know. It's a good night for us. It was a good start. Yeah. Are there any, um, are there any, like, super areas, the, um, bonus areas? No, 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 did you dead have the back or did you grab anybody? Nice. From there. Beautiful. That's the way to do it. Nice. Was that with um, Lyft or, or Uber? Yes. Lyft. Guess what I did. Mary, guess what I did. I got more. George, do you still do this song in your act? Stand up and we'll sing it together. We will do some harmonies. We've never done that. Maybe if we give him a little encouragement, we could get George Vince to stand up here and um, we're playing around with the vocals on this a little bit. We used to do it on mountains. Ladies and gentlemen, George Coons. How do you keep the music playing? <laughs> you need a little more uh, vocal? No, 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 do it straight into the mic. It's a, not some How do you make it last? How do you keep the song from fading?
but tell me how year after year you're sure your heart will fall apart each time you Just as a historic, okay, George, George, that. I, I got to you look at, just have another glass of this. He'll <laughs> <laughs> be singing up. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> George, they love you out there. <laughs> Bill Jenkins says that uh, Grand Island has a lot of snow. Due to end at uh, 10 45. 
Johnny Epps, how things in Virginia? Any snow there? We got clobber here. Straight. 
strangers on our way to someone else and someplace we forgot. Don't mistake my smile, it just means I'm lonely. Till this day has passed And then Forget we met We're just Feeling time In a secret place Yielding to A soft wind's day This one, George? Yeah. The old laugh routine. George, what the? Storming out there? Yeah, it's very similar to the way it was out. Oh my god. Here's another George Clinton sounding song. harmonies. Oh no, I, I thought it was I've often walked on the streets oh, A few stolen moments. Oh, I know this one. I didn't even realize it. Hey, George. You got your family and they need you there. They need you there. Though I try to resist. Goodbye, George. I'm going to be last on you. But there's no other man gonna do saving all his love for you. It's not very easy living up. Tell me he needs a man of his own. But each time that I try, I just break down. He breaks and down and cries. Cause he'd rather be feeling blue. So I say. Love gives you the right to be free. I don't have a bridge, you keep going, I don't have a bridge. You said love would be patient.
little little wonder that just is an old fantasy. On a corner he's gone Gonna get that old feeling when you walk in the door Cause the night is the night Cause the feeling's alright We'll be making love the whole night through So he's saving all Fun, George, was good, wasn't yeah. it? Was, was kind of working. You know, I thought it had some, some action there. Uh, I was taking some real chances uh, there, you know, too. It's a, not an easy song to harmonize on, yeah. All of a sudden, recently, I can, I can hear some harmonies recently. dedicated to George Kunz, ladies and gentlemen, because he's a lover of great songs, especially when their words are by Hal David and music by Burt Bacharach. Melissa's still there, very good, we're glad you're keeping us running in the background there. George, what's it all about? Alfie, is it just? Help me out with this, George. For the moment we live. What's it all about? When you sort it out. Yes, it is wise to be 
without your love we just exist. Help me. George, I'm sure you do, because he knows every song. He's amazing. That's how the Kunz family is. But along came Bill. Not the type at all. Meet him on the street and never notice him. His form and face. His manly grace. Not the kind that you would find in a statue or something like that. I can't explain. Because he's wonderful. Because he's just old. Yeah. Oscar Hammerstein and Jerome Kern. This song I haven't done in years. I don't think I've ever sang it. If, if I expected love. When first we kissed, blame it on my youth. If only just for you, I did exist. Blame it on my youth. Blame it on my 
again, you're going to go out there and make even more money? You made a ton of money tonight. I should kick on my Uber. You should get Uber right now. Yeah. I got a job right now. How are the tips lately? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. You offered to change her? Oh, wait, finish that. Finish that. You, you, you said what? I'll take you out. Take you home. I'll, I'll take you out. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn the thing off so that they don't whack you. Yeah, coming back. Coming back. Like, so yeah. she gave me 20 bucks. Oh, that's oh, nice. From her, over in Richmond. What a nice lady. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much for her. $20 tip. No, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to change. That's what I was Had some damn oh, down driving yeah. lift. <laughs> Sam's customer service. Here's a Peter Allen song for George. You ever hear this one? You might have. I don't know Peter Allen at all. You and me. We wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. You and for the sky The women was high Never giving up Knowing we can win the prize I'd like to thank Ryan
nice song. Yeah. Clever to song. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I love that lyric where he doesn't rhyme it just with rain. He goes, on a rainy day. <laughs> yeah, rainy. Yeah. Rain. At the beginning of the song? Just a rainy day? Oh. Doesn't that rhyme with anything? No, he, he, did, he thought rain was coming up, and then he... Yeah, he oh, had rainy a double day. syllable. Like, rainy day. Yeah. It's gas. Yeah. Tell me how much he loves his. Come across him oh, maybe he's got a different model. I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah, he swore, he swore he's on the Everett. Uh, actually, they didn't make a... He wanted me to get an Everett. Did he write it? No, but I really like this Everett. First of all, I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought... I, thought uh, I went to the one in Williams. Watching Lounge Academy. Where we're celebrating and learning the great songs of those lounge artists that came before us. Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't you think I'm trying not to learn? Since this is the perfect spot to learn, teach me, teach me tonight. The Lounge Academy, starting with the ABCs of it. Right down to the XYZs of it. Help me solve the mysteries of it. Teach me. God. 
Academy. We call this the epilogue near the end of the show. It's still storming out there. Shop with George Kunz. I'll never get tired of the lounge cadets. We've got a record five people watching in the audience. I think we did have record viewership tonight. I thank everybody out there talking to the hair cam right now. Can't wait till Friday to see us. Tune in Tuesday for Donut Tuesday TV from 11.30 to 1.30. We're a show where Mary and I sell donuts to people on the sidewalk on Delaware Avenue and find out what the real buzz is downtown because those people know it. We got the man on the street and the woman on the street there down. They tell us everything. Once they have a large donut in them, they start talking. Grace. Wonderful having you out there rusting up your sports injury. Here's one, Melissa. So this is for you. I learned this off an old black and white Dudley Moore show. I'll be tired of you when stars grow tired of gleaming. When I am tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired of you. This I know is true. When winds grow tired of blowing, 
grass is tired of growing. Then I'll be tired of you. Beyond the years, from natal nights till wrong is right. Birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of my only love will still be whispering. Whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating that it is tired of beating then I'll be tired of you I'll be tired of you. I'll never be tired of the lounge cadets. We are, we're watching the snow plows go by. Reminds me of a song, Oren. The snow plows go by. And I think about you. I zip up my flag. And I look at the view of the snow plows as they drive by. Oh my. I'm glad I'm inside. I don't know who wrote that one, but it's a beautiful song. George, they all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. They all laughed when Wilbur and his brother when they said that man could fly, they said Marconi, wireless was phony. It's the same old cry. They laughed at Kunz, wanting you. Said they reaching for the moon. But oh, you came through. Now they're eating humble pie. That's not during the lyrics. He can't fool Kunz. He knows the lyrics. <laughs> Now they have to change their tune. They all said, We never could be happy. They all laughed at us and how. But oh, who's got that last laugh now? Who's got the last plow now? Got the last oh, yeah. shovel now. The way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. No, no, you can't take that away from me. The way smile just beams the way you sing off key the way you haunt my dreams no no you can't take that away from me never 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 gain on the bumpy road to love always always keep the memories of 
your knife The way you dance till three The way you changed my life No, 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 you can't take that away from me No, they can't take that away from me They can't take that away from you and me Glenn's knows all the songs, ladies and gentlemen. Picture you upon my knee, just two for tea. <laughs> well, it makes sense. You don't go up for a yeah, you go two for two and two for tea. <laughs> Picture you. On my knee, just tea for two, and you for tea, me for you, and you for me, alone. Nobody near us, to see us or near us. On weekend vacations, we won't ever know, dear, that we own a telephone, dear. Day will break, and we'll awake, start to bake a big old sugar cake, or me to take. For all the boys to see, we will raise a family, a girl for you and a little baby boy for me. Can't you see how happy we will be? Here comes the tap dancing, Pirate George. You ready? Changing the piano up a little. We tuned one string before this yeah, evening string. started. It was just a little off, just a little. It's like this one. That one isn't too bad. It's, it's getting wider. Sums up with the humidity. Watch them there. Oh, okay. Yeah. They'll be up there they're immortalized. They're up there now. I think oh. George oh, that's right. could George accompany me on yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather, I'll be accompanying him. Yeah. Time, time after time. I tell myself that I. This one screams George Coons. So lucky to be, to be loving you. So lucky to be the one you run to see.
here at Lounge Academy, too, just music. They're made of music. We are made of music. How's the listening public power today? Yeah, there's, there's four. There's a record four. Kathy Kirby McGuire, are you really out there, my old school chum? Speaking about musical talent. watching Lounge Academy. This is kind of the epilogue of the show. I see a heart going up. I hope that was Kathy. But I'll take it. Here's one back. Kathy. Oh, it's Melissa Grace blowing kisses. Melissa's really well with the program tonight. It's great. She added scholarships to our evening. She did. She's really enjoying this, said Melissa Grace. So are we. Melissa, I'd work for you. I'd slave for you. I'd be a beggar or a for you. If that isn't love, it's going to have to do. Till the real thing comes along, I'd gladly move the earth for you to prove my love, dear, and my worth to you. If that isn't love, it'll have to do. I just can't make you understand I'll always love you, darling, come what may My heart is yours, what more can I say? I sigh for you, I cry for you I'd tear the stars out of the sky for you that is in love, it's gonna have to do. Though the real 
nothing comes along. Man Hollinger, Alberta Nichols, Sammy Kahn, Sam Chaplin, Ellie Freeman. Oh, God, that's an entire, that could be an entire roofing crew. Maybe you could write a musical around the people already. It's not like all six of them are standing around the piano. Melissa's back is out. Some kind of coin a tune like, uh, or a that's horrible, like Melissa. half crescent yeah. moon and then dig a credit too. Maybe a, a chiropractor, you know, is really good with things like that. Speak to a you might, you might, you might need one of those chiropractors, Melissa. Oh, speaking of, boy, the Barber back thing turned out okay. I was awfully, I was awfully worried. What? Barber had a bad back. Oh yeah, you were. Oh, did that work oh, out? I was, I was practically carrying her out of public oh. buildings and so on. Yeah. It was awful. Mary told me that it sounded terrible. So we went to the doctor. And first of all, I wonder if she should do chiro. Well, hold on. No, but yeah, I know. It went Which well. Which is a, pl a good solution. Just, you know, we went and got as far as x-rays, and then, yeah. you know, the doctor just said, no, everything's normal. It's just a full muscle. Oh, well, huh. that's right. And this is the day before where I got the, her primary. Gosh. Yeah. I think it's a herniated disc. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. Upside. Don't worry, you know? No. Well, what is this thing? I'm so glad. I was thinking about it. Called love. Oh, shoveling. How awful, Melissa. This is going to be a real problem. Oh, good. You tore something. That's better than having a real spine issue. Tear, torn stuff grows back. Oh, it's a pull. No, Melissa Grace is out with a bad back, or she would have been here tonight. Oh, she has a bad back. I didn't see Yeah, she tore something shoveling. What is this thing? Yeah, no, that's right, George. Oh, love. singing this one. When a man loves a woman can't keep his mind I can't believe it's in this book. It's, it's, it doesn't seem to fit with the uh, with, with the uh, Great American Songbook. I love the song as a pop tune, as a rock tune, you know. I never attempted it. Dixon used to sing this in our band. He used to do a great job at it. When a man loves a woman, they must have stepped this down because this is not even, even a high key. I think I 
work on this one, though. I used to love it when Mark did it. Directions. It's, it's just so whipping awesome. around. Yeah, it's, 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 it doesn't. It looks awesome. Like there's though. a lot coming down though. I want that to happen on a donut Tuesday so we can be in the booth when it's doing that. <laughs> we'll have to have some neon lights or something. It's really cool. Yeah, it's just blowing though. It's really not snowing outside. I don't think. It's going sideways. Yeah, it's going. It's Here's a classic, George. tougher, lonelier and rougher. I hope you burn up. Tomorrow she may turn up. Just no let up. Live long night and day. Ever since the world began, there is nothing sadder than song when a couple of ringers get together. Girl. <laughs> it's 
somebody loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be. Worries me. For every girl that passes me, I shout out. Shovel snow. Just starting. Let's see how these are. Oh, okay. Chris is losing transmission. You might have to reboot. Have you had any power failures in the last few weeks? We've had a bunch. If it acts up, no, you haven't. Yeah, Tina, just give it. Give your machine a reboot because I'm watching here. It's coming through for me on a separate device. So. It's Tina. Oh, that's a nice CD unit there. You want that? Yeah. I've serviced that one a few times. I've serviced that yeah. one a few times. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I used to get her going. Oh, the icing. It went back to Blake Blackout. Tina, if your car's losing a transmission, then we, we could help you there, too. It's one of the new services we're going to be launching at the booth. Who's Tina? Uh, 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 our lounge cadet, Tina. She's literally a yeah, meet her. Right. Where'd you get the pole lamps, Howard? I, I, I made them. <laughs> yeah, they're construction uh, things. I kind of made a clever way so I don't have to have a big footprint of tripods to trip over. They're like monopods. George from the island of Manhattan to the coast of Vaux. From north to south, from east to west, you are the love.
Boy, you just get caught up in that song, don't you? It's a great song. No, it's the best. Love it. As George says, first one's great. Yeah. It is the best. Are we getting some distortion, best, uh, Bill Jenkins? Beautiful song. He just got all that. There was, there was a double forte, that one. Here's a song that to go out to the weather today. You know, you feel so isolated from the weather here, don't you, George? You don't hear any blowing or anything. No, I know you, you don't, don't hear anything. Any. Nothing creaks. No, you're right. It's just like a freaking like mountain. Yeah. Is it a Florida original? I'm looking at hard for what Florida it is. That it, it's it's an original to like the 1870s or 80s when they remodeled. <laughs> that is cool. On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see. Well, you guys are making me really work tonight. <laughs> work some more. Howard, did you ever listen to that, that song, I Am a Singer? Oh, yeah. That, that, Was uh, I supposed to? I don't think I ever gave it to him. I thought I gave it to him. Oh, okay. Well, I listened to it. <laughs> Good one, huh? Great song. Written by a guy whose greatest hits is, it was for Barry Manilow. That's David sending an attachment. I'm, on, I'm just gonna check to make sure it's not him. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks, Bill. Yeah, I like that song, and I love how Jack Joe. guys want to hear? Uh, it's hard to satisfy the Kunzes. We're here with George and Mary Kunz, Goldman. Oh, nice. I'd like to hear that too, but I need the music. I don't know if we have it. <laughs> Shuffle off to Buffalo. That's a 
great one. I gotta, we got to get a hold of that. That scene is so beautiful. Georgia. Georgia. The whole day through. Just the old sweet song keeps Georgia. Georgia on my mind Georgia on my mind Georgia Georgia A song of you I said Georgia No peace I find Just the old sweet song That's Georgia on my mind Georgia on my mind That's Keeps Georgia on my mind. <laughs> How about My Heart Stood Still? It's a great one. I took one look I at you. They're calling out all the great tunes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Tina's the best. Tina in the schoolhouse. What am I doing? My heart stood still. That's a great song. Hey, hey feeling standing up feels good. Well, here's another one, Mary, and then we'll do that one. Keep that one in mind so I don't forget what it is. <laughs> Life has just begun. Jack has found his gym. Don't know what you've done, but it's all a thrill. How can words express your divine appeal? Never guess all the love I feel. From now on, lady, I insist. Form your me, no other girl exists. It's wonderful, it's marvelous.
or feeling amorous It's wonderful It's marvelous That you should care for me Which one were we on the way to? I took one look at you. Oh, my heart's still still. Oh, yeah. More I see you. Oh, you can do that, Mr. Each time I look at you, I see the first time. Each time you're near me. The thrill is new And there is nothing that I wouldn't do for The rare delight of The sight of you
how much I love you. The more I see you, as years go by, I know the only one for me can only be you. My arms won't free you. My heart won't try. The more I see you at Lounge Academy, why does the thing ring? Yeah, I was gonna say. I know that was a big ding. That was a very big ding. I was gonna say, is that the first uh, contact you've made? Yeah. No, it's, it's my it's Mark sending me an attachment. <laughs> I've got it off. I don't know why it's doing that. I know the only way. The more I see you. He's a, that's Mark Hanbeck, our yeah. capital record. Yeah, he's sending me something. That shows how cool Lounge Academy is. It is. I know. He's, from the he's capital hip. records expert, Mark Hanbeck Nielsen. Well, that one's opening up, too. There's something oh, the humanity yeah, must have changed. We could tune it as we go. Okay, what, which one are we doing? I took one look at you. <laughs> if you can do it. What's it called again? My Heart. My Heart. But other things are great. You oh, that's a I, I love that song. Tina heard it too. I'm getting punchy. I can't well, use the alphabet. Howard, you played a three and a half hour set. Haven't you? Howard plays for a long time. He likes to play. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Sellers is running around his apartment looking for that ring. He says, thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> oh, the ring! Oh, he was running around looking for the name. Oh. <laughs> Glad we could clear that up, Rich Summers. <laughs> I took one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. My lips could move and talk, and yet my heart stood still. Though not a single word was spoken, I could tell you knew that heartfelt clasp of hands. Can I 
Connecticut Yankee. Thanks for that great request, Mary Quinn's Goldman. This one goes out to Larry Cheely. Is he out there? Larry's watching? That's what it says. He says, Hi, it says Larry Lawrence Cheely is oh, watching. Are Larry you really Larry. watching? Is Facebook that smart? If I don't see her each day, I miss her. <laughs> George misses her. She would have thrilled. Each time I see that kisser, Believe me, I've got a case. Nancy with a laughing face takes the winter and makes it summer. We need some of her tonight here. Summer could take, could take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. Can you believe that, George? Nancy with the laughing face. You wonder, ocean bells ringing, give you the very same glow. So you would think she was singing, just hear her say hello. You can't resist her. Sorry for you. She runs on transistors. No one could ever replace Nancy. There's somebody here in front of Lounge Academy. Maybe we're going to turn the room. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know if I got another three hours in me. Nancy with the laughing face. Maybe it's Nancy. Hi, Larry. He says, hi, Mary. Hi, Larry. There's a guy with a yellow vest. A yellow vest. They're protesting us, ladies and gentlemen. I think he pulled over to clean his window, and there's a guy with a yellow vest. Really? A yellow vest? Cleaning his windshield wipers. I mean, this is like really winter. We are in the dead zone of winter right now. We really are. It'll get better. Then February is exactly like January in reverse. Man, I keep just, it just seems a bit it's extreme. So I remember the really hot days of summer and now we're just. The white, yes, it was a white turnout tonight, Lawrence Cheely. But we had a very good turnout in, in the home audience. People that would have been in the, in the house were in their house. We had a virtual. So we, we still got them. We still got to hang with them. George, have I done this new song for you?
burned out and forgetting the words. On an evening such as this, they both give the very same sensation. close to mine Beware my foolish heart But should our eager lips combine Then where Then where The fire starts too loopy. George, you want to do a little seven and give, give me a little break? Oh, so, geez, I got the, the straps. Um, <laughs> you got the what? Uh, yeah, I got a two-note question real quick. Yeah. George Kunz, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, he's got something. He brought something. I think he brought... Um, Oh, that was a great set. It was oh, thank three you, Mary. It was amazing. You played for about three hours straight. Well, this thing quits at four hours. Let's see if we have a time on here. I don't see the time. I thought it usually counts down the time somewhere. Oh, you know what? I think I could tell on. If I watch on my home screen. Three hours and 24 minutes. So we still got 36 minutes before they cut us off, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. But my rear end is getting <laughs> sore. It's getting tired from <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> It's like my muscles. I feel like Jocko. He used to get up after one of those four oh, hours. Yeah, sets. He used to stretch. I don't know how he yeah. did it. <laughs> it <was bomb. laughs> I just sat there for three and a half hours. <laughs> well, that's a I haven't gotten up. I, no, you have not. I'm going to go powder my nose. I have noticed that you haven't gotten up. Come on, get up there, George Kunz. Keep the mock kept to occupy. Get powder, you get so they don't go to sleep. <laughs> He's like, <"What?" laughs> It's going to be hard. Here. The storm is coming, and I can hear it, Mary. I can hear it. I'm so easily amused. I know you're. In, you're gonna like the song. I know. He finally lets me play. the 
<laughs> I know that's unprofessional of me. Take it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> People tune in to see the sausage. It wasn't smooth at all, was it? <laughs> People tune in to see that sausage in the thing. Yeah. I'm going to see I, I, I'm not one to laugh. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Mary Stein tonight. Steaming hot loaf is tempted. That's how long I was sitting there. Maybe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in order to do their song request, which has a very high range, they've given me this can of, can of pork. It's, it's, it's whipped cream. Oh, yeah. It, and um, according to, our, to the top vocal coaches, if you inhale the gas from this, yeah. you, oh, can, really? you can sing real high. Oh, is that right? Oh, no, no, that's not it. This gets you, this gets you high. <laughs> It doesn't get your voice high. I was thinking of, uh, you need a helium balloon. That's what I was thinking of, helium. This is, this is laughing gas. Yeah, this is the wrong stuff. This isn't going to work. Okay, see you guys. George Kunz, how about it in the home audience? Yeah. George Kunz, you did a great job tonight. You're at Lounge Academy. Good job, everybody at home. Look at this, they just abandoned me here. I'm gonna uh, look at this piece of red. This is, uh, this is called steaming hot loaf. I, I make it. It's 100% whole wheat bread, and I, I make it every Friday for our own consumption. And uh, we could add this to our booth uh, menu. We could sell loaves of this stuff, I guess. I don't know if anybody is interested in us doing that. Um, 
I could, I could do that if someone who wants, wants a loaf. They're these big, beautiful, they're really good. Everybody loves it. 100% whole wheat. And, you know, this stuff, the beautiful thing about the whole wheat, you can see I like butter, is uh, it's not like white bread where the carbs just shoot through you and you, and you just get hungrier. This stuff actually satisfies you. You know, like I'm, I'm the worst when it comes to that kind of thing. Sugar and stuff just makes me hungrier. This whole wheat bread, lots of times I take some leftover slices from Lounge Academy, and during the week, if, I, you know, if I'm hungry and I need something to hold me over in the car or something, I'll eat a slice of this, and you know what? It, it, it actually does it for me. Uh, it, it's, which is amazing, because I'm the kind of, I'm like the guys, you know, you need a steak or something, or you're hungry every five minutes. So I'm going to, since I don't want to sit here eating a steaming hot loaf slice in front of you, even though I'm starving and I'm dying to eat it, I'm going to set it in front of me and maybe we can improvise off of it so I can play because I can't think about what else to do with it. Here's the, this was going to be my napkin. Mary, I thought you were going to entertain the audience so I could eat the steaming hot loaf. I'm here, so I'm going to, I'm just like looking, look, I'm staring at it right in front of me. It's steaming hot loaf. It's staring back at me. Butter times three. I want to eat it, but I'm looking at the snow. <laughs> you know, it's not going sideways anymore. It's, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's coming kind of down. down. It's, it's coming down. Is it still coming down? So I mean, yeah, that's not just blowing back and forth. That's I not just, like a zero every sum time game. I've seen someone to the door tonight. I feel so bad for them. So awful. <laughs> well, the wind calmed down, but I mean, this is just stay here tonight. <laughs> the, I don't want to move. This is this must be accumulating to some to, to some by. depth of snow. <laughs> Can you guys? Here, I'll give you the window shot. It's really incredibly snowy outside. There. See that? There's see cars going by. If I would have brought my car instead of my plow to Lounge Academy tonight, I'd be in this real... Well, first of all, I never could have gotten into the driveway here. I had to... I actually had to excavate it. I, it wasn't just a plow job. I had to, like, yeah. go at it from angles and carve out pieces. something and then uh, well, we, we don't have a lot of time left because Facebook is going to throw us off. Yeah, finish it up, Howard. Um, let me see if, how long it's been. Well, we still got like 25 minutes. I'll be, I'll starve to death by then. What songs haven't we done that, I, that I'll go did later on? Um, did, did you do the Nutty Professor song? Well, I, I left Jeffrey food in his dish. Melissa, it is, he rations it, so there'll be like three morsels left by the time we get home. Hmm? What's the hassle? I'll fly the castle. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's one. This was in The Nutty Professor. This is my favorite song. I love it. Mary likes it. Nutty professor. This evil like I think goes up what's the castle off by the castle. Melissa, what camera angle do you want? Do you want a single camera angle like uh, this one where this is the shot of us, or do you want the um, split view maybe where uh, you could you can see all at once, but they're smaller, so you can't see them as well.
Let me know if you want me to change the camera angle for you. We're full service here. Up at dawn and sleepy and yawning. Still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mind. I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch the clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bombs, Cape Canaveral, and false alarms. Half the universe up in arms So I flip a little too until I'm holding you What's the hassle I'll buy the castle We can live like kings If you remember your mind then I've got a world You've got a world, we got a world that swings. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Because I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Tied the string around my finger The string reminds me of mine And I've got a world that swings Atom bombs Cape Canaveral and false alarms Half the universe is up in arms so I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind then, I've got a world that you've got a world. We got a world that swings. We've got a world that swings. There was a song by Buddy Love, the world's greatest lounge entertainer. Brad's gonna have to wait. You gotta earn your bread. I always have trouble getting bread in this gig. <laughs> Over by Broadway was was requested. I'm so loopy. I'm having trouble with the alphabet. Do do. And you cannot help but think of that avant-garde opening to the movie. Busby Berkeley. Busby Berkeley. Yeah, he was great. Speaking of Buzz, we're going to have a big announcement coming up. <laughs> WBIG. Stay. What the hell? I'm, this thing powered off. It must be out of yeah, yeah, my it. shoulder. I'll put it on the chart. Oh, wow, I feel so bad you I know. Me too. Man. <laughs> it's okay. It's making me play with lust. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a USB put into my piano so I can plug my 
Get ready for next week so I can thumb it for you. What's that? I'll get ready for next week so I can thumb it for you. All right. I'm going to eat your bread. Yeah. She's getting psyched. <laughs> She's got the show business bug. <laughs> Come on along and listen to a lullaby of Broadway. Vipera, the ballyhoo. subway train, the rattle of the taxi, the daffodils that entertain at Angelo's and Maxie's when Broadway baby says goodnight, it's early in the morning, Manhattan baby don't sleep tight until the dawn. Steaming hot wolf. You'd be. Oh, I love that. You'd be. You'd be so easy to love. Easy to idolize. Others above. Facebook throws us off because it'll be the four hour limit. End it early. End it early? Okay. Well, giddy. I don't know we got to take advantage of all four hours. To get our money's worth out of the four hours. Well, thanks everybody for uh, making tonight uh, a really fun night really in the snowstorm.
it was great having you know being with all you guys and having you guys with us that's what that's what's cool about this when you comment and everything and you're here it's you know sometimes afterwards I can't remember if somebody was here we've had this discussion I can't remember if a certain person was here or if they were at home you know, but yeah. I remember our conversations and that yeah. we spent spent uh, time together, lounging. Virtually lounging together. Yeah. No, but it's true. These people, yeah. It's part of the. It is part of it. It's part of the lounge, whether whether they're home or or here, or, why, well, often as often as not, they're not even at home tonight. They are because there's a snowstorm, but people are out traveling, yeah. um, or even at other places. And they're tuned in and, you know, rooting us on, you know. It's, who would have imagined this technology? I know it's amazing. Butter delivery service. That'd be good. I'm on the wrong page here. Here we are. Yes, we're looking forward to... Melissa in person. Well, Melissa will be great in person. Shirley. Tina. Is Tina still there? Tina was grounded. She's grounded. All right. Well, we're going to send us off into the lounge ether with my finger. And uh, anything else, Mary? We really appreciate everyone who was with us tonight virtually in the lounge sphere watching us we do that was really fun tonight i mean it was nice even in the snowstorm we felt as if we weren't all by ourselves in this co this lounge cocoon in the midst of the snow right it was a great place to be stuck in a blizzard though it really was i and mean now it's kind of calmed down it looks like it's still coming down yeah, very so gracefully down. um well, this was a really beautiful night and people were it was great to have people watching us. You know, the, the, place, the place looks like George Barrymore's painting. It does, yeah. <laughs> Ladies right. and gentlemen. Because there are no cars outside right now that we see, and George Barry's painting just You can see it. Uh, here, Mary Duck. I haven't seen any cars in five minutes looking out there. And it does look kind of like that painting. Lean forward a second, just toward your wine, so they could see the painting. And yeah, that's us she there in the snow. It looks like it. Except there's no horses. There could be if there's a, an event at the convention center. They, the county comes by on horses. Oh, I guess so. But they're but not. I mean, there's no cars out there, and it's a strange sight right now to see no cars there. It is. It's almost like old Delaware no without cars. By the no cars park. If yeah. you, oh, there it goes one. Home. There goes an there's SUV. One. Okay, the first one in a long time. That's, that's the exception that proves the rule. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, we'll drive. We're going to plow safely. We brought a snow plow. Yeah, we have a snow plow. There. So we're going to just plow our way around. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks uh, again, and we'll, we'll see you. We'll do it again next Friday, and uh, hope to see you. And if you miss us before that, tune in on Tuesday for Donut Tuesday television show where we live, <laughs> live cast Mary and me selling donuts to people in suits with guns because we're right across from the Justice Department. We sell them donuts. We find out everything that's going on. Yeah, we do. Because, you know, people, when, you, when you sell donuts, people tell you what the heck's... Right? That's right. It's unbelievable. Yeah, the world just revolves We're right on the donuts. sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're collecting intel. All right, I'm going to eat my steaming hot loaf right here. And if anybody wants one of these loaves, just let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the menu special for you and I'll make you one. <laughs> Those loaves are amazing. You'll have to tell me how much a loaf of bread should cost though because I don't know. I make them myself. <laughs> I never buy them. So, good night everybody. Good night everyone. Thank you for joining us here at Lounging. Keep lounging. <laughs>